The first time I met Miss Jordan Thomas, I actually thought she was a student. To be honest, I, I gave her a hard time. We got into an altercation and, you know, I'm a little bit of a jokester and she kicked me out of class. But this time it was different from the, any of the other times, you know, she had to talk to me. She, she waited till that night and she called me on the phone and she was like, hey, what's going on? Are you okay? He was a challenge in the beginning. Before I met JT, education was on the back burner. I honestly don't know where I would be at right now if she didn't take the time out to mentor me, to teach me, to guide me. I started this with the expectation that I was going to impact kids. I just didn't think that they would impact me <laughs> as much as they have done. I told them, you have the potential to be something really, really great if you make the choice to do it. It was just like this change in just his attitude and behavior. I applied to UNC Pembroke, so University of North Carolina Pembroke. I wasn't going to tell her, and I saw her in school, and I just had this smile on my face, and she was like, what is it? And I was like, I got in. And he gave me a copy of the letter. And that, that was something that I'll never forget. I still have the letter at home because to me, that's just a sign of why I do this work. She didn't just stop. Okay, you're in college, so now you need to graduate college. I just asked him, I was like, so what's after college? He's like, well, you know, I'm thinking about Teach for America when I learned that he got in, of course, like, I'm completely overjoyed and blown away. Of course, selfishly, I was like, I want you in Charlotte. Like, I want you at my school because I want you to be a fourth year teacher with support. A bad thing, which, you know, we know it harms us, but we need... When I got to my classroom and I met my students and I saw how much alike we were and how similar our stories were, I knew that I had to do more than just be a teacher. I knew that I had to take that JT role. I finally saw what JT saw. As a black male, I told somebody, I could literally stand in my room, dress just like this, and not say a word, just stand there. And that would still have a profound impact on my students. That is still why I am very much so a part of this work, because of kids like Jonathan, being able to see that reality for him of like, you came out of college wanting to to make a difference in your community. And that's what felt really, really good. Knowing that I'm in my hometown where my brothers still reside, my mother, we're making sure we're doing everything we can so the next generation can have a shot.